Hi kids, do you like violence? Wanna see me stick nine inch nails for each one of my eyelids? Try to say to get fucked up worse than my life is? I raised a rate. I'm trying to get my head straight, but I can't figure out which spice girl I want to impregnate. <laughs> Dr. Dre said, nothing you idiots, Dr. Dre's dead. He's locked in my basement. Feminist women love Eminem. Chicka 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 slim shady. I'm sick of him. Look at him walking around grabbing his you know what. Zipping a you know hoop. Yeah, but he's so cute now. <laughs> I can't remember all the words. Anyway, hello, my wonderful spirit guides. I don't know why I started it like that. I literally, I didn't even think before I did it. <laughs> but anyway, hello. Um, I have already done a video today. I did a reaction to Sev Deliza's new EP, Raving Dahlia. Oh, it was so good. Um, and now I'm going to be reacting to Aldous Harding, the designer. Um, I think it's the designer. Oh, oh, it's just designer. I'm really looking forward to this. I've heard a couple Aldous Harding songs. I've heard one on a stream, and I've heard one uh, that I've obviously reacted to um, on YouTube. I'm so excited. If you're watching on YouTube, my format's going to be slightly different. I think I'm going to be cutting the videos down a bit more now, just because copyright is up my ass, and it's really uncomfortable. If you'd like to become a patron, please do. Then you'll be able to watch all the videos uncut and um, early as well. And also, you know, if you want to join the middle tier, we're doing live streams, themed live streams, starting up again in March. Um, it might be March when this video comes out, but it, it's starting again and I can't wait. Um, I do about two a month, uh, usually. I only did one last month. Um, it was a shorter month. But still, that, that, that's not why, I just haven't been feeling that great due to hormones and so on. Ugh, just... <sighs> Honestly, my issues with hormones are <laughs> not great. Follow me on Instagram and I shall follow you back as well. Also, I've got my hair up, which is very unlike me. I feel very uncomfortable and very scared of my angles because I, there are many angles I don't enjoy, but who cares? Their first song is called Fixture picture also i remember like from the last album like a uh, no album last like time i reacted lots of people were saying to me don't really bother looking into the lyrics i mean i can look at the lyrics but don't try and understand them because uh you know al just doesn't really give a lot away so i don't know that's cool i think i like that because it means that you get to paint your own picture like you know without being faced with the actual meaning you get to interpret it the way you want but anyway let's go fixture picture is folding up there's the memory kisses you goodbye I love her voice there's a it's very soft here isn't it honey da, 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 da. um obviously I, I can't do her voice but it has that soft kind of sweetness to it and she is saying honey there's a definite vibe Ooh. wow be pure and in love. I've just got the lyrics up. In the corner in blue is my name. In the corner. Ooh. Picture. Picture. Of Interesting. I liked how she went low. In the corner. Like dropping that sweetness a little bit. And now it's back to it. Fixture. Picture. It's got a very e -a 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 nasally. I imagine it's go fixture, picture. I don't know why, I just imagined it doing that, but it actually stayed on the same uh, two notes, which I, I thought was interesting. Okay, so vocally, I, I will talk about the vocals. She is literally, like I said, it's very e, but in her mouth, it sounds like she could also, almost be doing like a little smile like this, like, fixed you. It's like, you're in it, I'm honored. You know, it's got that, because if I was to go, you're in it, I'm honored, it gives it a rounded tone. This gives it a e kind of tone, e. Ah, uh, very different. <laughs> I don't like such a loon when I try and describe things sometimes. Beautiful. Bit more of a dropped jaw here. Well, from what it was. One day, 
We'll share a glass together Is my name in the corner Fixture Before we get into that, I love strings. I love strings so much, but um, I really do like the way it sounds. It really, it's got character to it. It's also got a laziness to it. You're in it, I'm on it. You know, rather than you're in it, I'm on it. You know, it's no nothing hard about it. It just smoothly glides into each other with the lazy kind of instrumental too. Anyway, yeah, I need to go back a bit. I use the word vibe a lot and I, I like it. I mean, it is the perfect word to describe what I mean. But yeah, it's just got a nice little, mm, like I said, lazy jam to it with that little sweet like tone. It It's it's making me curious for sure. I wonder what it means, fixture picture. Like I've got it, I'm on it, you're in it, I'm honored. Like, is it a picture with someone and she's got that picture, she's in the picture and she's honoured to be in the picture with the person, you know, that's also in the picture? I don't know. Interesting. Anyway, next song is Designer, which is the title track. Nice plucking. You can really... With this plucking, you can really almost see the fingers really just like plucking it or you know what I mean there's something kind of um maybe not so gentle about it there's something kind of again like not lazy in a bad way but there's something it's not too perfect I mean the sound is perfect but the feeling feels lazy organic you know, uh, actually, uh, you know, I watched Black Swan again the other day. I uh, hadn't seen it since I was a teenager and fucking hell, it's a dark film. But um, I remember what they're saying to, you know, uh, the main character that, you know, the she was too perfect and the Black Swan needed to be more seductive and loose. And I guess I, with this, I just tying it in, um, you can really feel the like looseness of it. It doesn't have to be like, you know, maybe of a plectrum, a pick, it'd be like, be -be -de 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 -de, you know, it'd have a sharper sound, whereas this feels a bit more, um, I can't think of the word, down to earth, maybe? I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, it feels organic. Whatever was your angle. It's reminding me of Cheryl Crow for some reason. Strange thing to roll out a spell. Alamo. Nice. Mm. Sit down. The recording sounds like mic'd instruments rather than an instrument put through like a, a MIDI kind of um, auxiliary sort of thing rather than it going through the system. Sorry, my brain always goes blank when I try and speak about something, but I know what I'm talking about in my head. <laughs> anyway, um, it sounds like each instrument has a mic to it within uh, the same room, like, you know what I mean? It, it, Yeah, organic is the word. Basically, each instrument has a microphone to it and it's been recorded through a microphone rather than for a MIDI input where you plug an instrument into a little box which is called like um a midi usb sort of thing i can't i don't know why i can't think of the word properly but it's midi <laughs> it's like an interface um and then it records it through the program you're using and it's cleaner and so on like that but when you record it with a microphone obviously you pick up all sorts of sounds like finger plucking and and atmosphere and so on so yeah I 
give up on your beauty the day you were born. kind of like uh positive in a way and very like happy and then the ending felt a little bit like a left on like a sadder kind of note that's interesting i was just thinking like it also reminds me of a band called uh fun boy three um the singer is the same singer from the band the specials um they got a particular song that's like the lunatics have taken over the asylum. Dum, dum. It actually has like similar like instrumental sounds, like whether it be the tone or the instruments themselves. Um, they've got a few songs that have this sort of sound to it, and yeah, it really reminded me of it. Check them out if you um, don't know who they are. You might you might see what I mean. You might not. That's interesting though. That's very cool. Someone on Genius has wrote. To a certain degree, the space that people live in is affected by the design of that space. That space is where you live, work, socialise or even travel. Accepting that space or not can be up to you. Also, influences from those closest to you can affect you. Aldous Harding has designed a rhythm and a set of lyrics that can define many different layers of thought. Ooh, that's very cool. I like that. Just the designer. I guess the designer of your own world. The designer of your own life and, you know... You're the designer, you get to conjure up whatever, if you know what I mean. I mean, that's going off a little bit of what she was saying. But um, yeah, that's just guess how I just suddenly thought it. Anyway, next one was Zoo Eyes. And Zoo Eyes is one that I have heard uh, a few times now. I heard it on a stream and then have listened to it afterwards. But I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. Why? Oh, I love her vocal like this. Do you love me? That like lower vocal is so perfect in her Cried all the tone. way through. Zoo eyes, zoo eyes, zoo eyes. And then there she is. She does that so well. She goes from like, why? What am I doing in Dubai? You know, that drop like, dumb. And she can so very nicely go into e It's so cool just like being able to hear the different textures. Lovely line. It seems like so far she often sings uh, in unison with the instruments. Abulant fair. Ding, 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 ding. Whatever it did, but you know what I mean. It's so lazy once again, and I love that about it. It's so easy to listen to at any point. Whatever you're doing, you can listen to this. A pin. Mmm. Nice. A colourful bride. Do you love me? Again. Oh, so lovely with the rhythm. Very nice accenting as well. So like accenting is when you hit like the again. And the uh would have like 
an accent on it. But if you put the accent on the gain, it'd be like, a gain. <laughs> Let me try and think of a better, like, line. So if I do an accent um, like this, ba, 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 the first note, the ba is the accent. But if I wanted to make it the next note, it'd be like, ba, 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 and then like wherever you want to put it, like, ba, 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 you know? Um, here she's got really nice accenting because it really hits on the rhythm and it's noticeable. And I think that's cool. Morning in the light. I really love it, the Dubai. She really leaves out the do bit and just goes Dubai. Oh, it's just so cool. It's rhythmically pleasing in that sense. All the syllables just being hit in that way. Lovely. I do just love that song. It's got something amazing about it. She's just like a super poet, isn't she? She writes very like metaphorically and creatively. But yeah, I'm not gonna look, I'll try and look too into it. But anyway, next song, Treasure. Ooh. Beautiful. I made it again to the Amazon. Nice. It's so funny. Her jaw is just so closed here. I made it again to the Amazon. I got to erase the same as the others It's got to end almost like an underbite It's like really closing that like the chamber You know what I mean? I love it, it really creates such a like a sound, a unique sound And I see it far cleaner than that Far cleaner than that mm. Lovely, with the piano, yeah and there we go, with like the kind of, like here the piano mimicking the vocal line again, you know, they're very responsive to each other, the vocal and then the instruments. guitar like that again. Mm, I like the guitar like that. Because you've got that like deeper plucking sound, but then that bling has a lot of a lighter sound, something like Spanishy classical about it. It's gorgeous. Also, you know, a lot of these songs do carry on the same sort of like, um, you know, patterns in a way where like, it's very cohesive in the sense that there's lots of techniques, similar techniques used throughout each song. I really like it with the male vocal. The arrival of moon fan in the gallow And that will compete Nice. Oh, I love that guitar. That one felt like it had a, you know, like a kind of a meaningful side to it. I think they all have meaning to it, but that one had like a really like, almost like a love note or like a, a message to it in a way, if that makes sense. Let's see if there's anything written about what it means. Nothing written about it, actually. All right, I'm freezing, so I need to like, need to at least get my feet warm. Because, gosh, it's cold. 
Oh, I've got no heating in my room, so I'm just freezing. Okay, I'm literally looking at the lyrics and cannot understand. <laughs> A rock in my hand, a living mirror, the braided cover of love. I've got my eye on you now, treasure. It's just so cryptic. All right, let's, oh, we've got the barrel now. I know, I know, I love this one. Treasure was sweet, but I didn't love that one. Right, but the barrel, I do love. Which, obviously, I have already reacted to. I feel your love. On this song as well, like, you know, I, I was thinking, oh, I'm doing Aldous Harding. And then I kept singing Perfume Genius. Jason and just me. Um, it, there's a, they have a similar vibe, Perfume Genius and Aldous Harding. Definitely. And I love that. I love her voice like this. Water's the shell and we are the nut. It's like she goes from, like, super closed jaw to... You know, this e to super low jaw, du, 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 du. very straight face, do you know what I mean? It's either one or the other, and I find that interesting. I do actually prefer this tone, if I'm honest. I just love her tone, you know? Look at all the peaches. How do you celebrate? This is such a good song. absolutely love that vocal on top it's all ready dead it, it gives it a lot of character um it's more of a spoken piece i suppose with like a lot of uh yeah character to it hey come on now <laughs> looks like a daily set Show the ferret to the egg I'm not getting laid along <laughs> I love that I know you All the layering I'm not getting wet It really comes barrel, together The barrel mm, Obviously not trying to change the song in any way But I imagined it fading out But the piano not fading out And that would be That would be such an interesting end um, But I obviously like it the way it is as well I just sometimes get ideas. But um, yeah, I do love that one. I really do. I really like everything about it. It feels very um, well done, if you know what I mean. And and it's got a lot of emotion, a lot of character. It's fun. I love the layering. I love the words. Yeah, that's cool. All right, next song is called Damn. Honestly, the whole album sounds like it's recorded with microphones or field recordings and so on. It's, it does sound very almost live, organic, intimate in that way. And I really admire that. I, I, I love that sound. Um, it makes it give it an older feeling, you know, because you can hear the hiss, like the pfft. Yeah, it's intimate. Can you make a space on the sea? Oh, it's so jazzy. I thought I'd made a tambourine <laughs> Only when I'm left I can hear this in like an old movie Do I know what I said it Feels very personal, doesn't it? Sorry I was late and you didn't get your weekend It's so easy, like with all the chords that are used, it's so easy to do like bluesy kind of like notes over the top of it. There is like a very bluesy feeling to it. And I think that's what can help it sound so emotional as well. And and that's how we connect to it. The blues sound is a very 
connecting sound, a sound that everyone loves, really. The blues is just such an incredible genre that is used in popular music, you know, ever since, in, in all sorts of popular music. <laughs> she's done that now before she did it on standing standing and now season she's using it like the tongue against the roof of the mouth and she's elongating those notes instead of going season or standing you know she's emphasizing that mm and that mm sound Again, just a, a, a creative choice that I, I really like. We all have our reasons, I meant. I know the reason he meant. Damn it, honey. The chains almost sound like a tambourine. She's really done the mm, on like every end there is. I wonder if there's reason behind that. I'm so curious. Oh, pretty. Yes. be wrong but those uh you know instruments that were just introduced sound like they were added after the recording like digitally added maybe recorded but definitely not at the same they weren't done at the same time oh i like that that was a cool one so hey see even though that one was slower uh like um treasure i really felt that one more um even with that like um steady kind of piano that it didn't change up much it just did the same thing as a foundation uh, i still liked it more it was something about it it's so interesting it sounds like she's talking she's there's a lot of it's very personal and a bit like self like loathing maybe that's not the right word but there is a bit of self-loathing in there um feeling like she doesn't say things right or like she doesn't know how to, like, I don't know, like, she's got low self-esteem about her communication or something. I don't know. Um, but I liked at the start, it said, I thought I made a tambourine, being all like, oh, thought I made a tambourine, but I didn't or something. And then at the end, it says something like, the chains almost sound like a tambourine. So, like, whatever she made wasn't a tambourine, but towards the end, it still sounds like a tambourine, so that's good. I don't know. I, I I can't quite work it out, but I do. I did like the use of the tambourine in at, from start and end. Also, it's getting kind of dark in here because it the sun is setting. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's try and get through it before the sun does set, though. <laughs> Next song is called "Weight of the Planets." Mm. Oh, I like this. Glad I put the reins on this thing when I did Oh, beautiful melody! In your eyes, you see the weight of the planet Oh, I love that line And it's sucking me in Ooh. Okay, I love the melody We shared a meal and then you had to go The way she says I can do anything. Each note sounds so um, free. It sounds so like uplifting and like I can do it. There's some hope and like determination, but in like a beautiful, like, yeah, like open space. There's something open about it that feels like very matching to the words. That's very cool. I am going to turn my 
light on. Just in case it gets too dark. It's a bit better, isn't it? And I am getting my cosy top on. I know, look, this top suits the vibe completely, but I'm freezing. I can't wait for summer. Also, it's so easy to sing along with her because of like just how much like, I don't know, room there is for different interpretations, uh, notes and you can use because it's quite simple in a way. Hi. <laughs> like she isn't doing anything like mega like crazy, like up, down, low, like do you know what I mean? The, like the lazy tune can help like, can make room for you to do what you want with it as well. Jam, jam with it basically, improvise with it. And I keep finding myself doing it because like, I want to. <laughs> this outfit. <laughs> it's warm, okay? I'd rather be warm than cold and not listening properly. But I've got the weight of the planet. Ooh. I felt like um, she was holding like a kite and the kite was taking off, and as the kite was taking off, she's kind of like flowing with it. And then, but I've got the weight of the planet, and it's almost like the gravity of Earth pulling her down. The weight of the planet. And her voice goes lower here too. Makes sense. I'm lost. Ooh. I really like the way she said that. I'm lost. Try and look for you if I'd know that you've arrived. Ooh. I do love that. Oh, I just love that. Oh. Oh. Cool. I love how the vocal kind of goes into that, like, what is it, like an organ or something? I love the. Yeah. Might be one of my favourites. I really do like it. Mm. Oh, for a minute there, it sounded like the piano wasn't going to fade out for a moment there, and I actually do think it was later to fade out than the rest. And that's interesting because what, what was I just saying about the other um, song about how I didn't want the piano to fade out and for a minute there it sounded like the rest was fading out before the piano. It didn't quite carry on but that was interesting. All right. I do look really hilarious, don't I? <laughs> this like whole colour situation is bad. I could have put on something a bit more matching but this is the softest. It's the most... Cozy. Um, anyway, yeah, next song is called Heaven is Empty. Mm, what a song name. I like those chords. The progression is nice. Sad. Heaven is empty. Doing something quite different with her voice here, using a cry tone. Heaven is empty, and by doing a cry tone, in the way that she does it, it's like she's still being nasally. There's a nasal part to it, but her throat is quite like in like a half yawn. Oh, oh heaven is empty. Yeah, it gives it an extreme amount of emotion. I feel it. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this one. Nobody's there. Ooh, so emotive. It's stayed in its bones. Interesting, I like I love that. I love those lines. The answer is one. Heaven is empty. That's interesting. The answer is one. It, you know, it sounds like it could be like, I only have one answer and that is empty, heaven is empty. But actually it sounds like she's saying, what do you want? It's like, I just want one. I want one of those. I want one. I want one. And it's like, what is it that you want? But it's, that one could be anything. Like I want a child. I want a husband, a wife. 
I want a friend. I want one. I just want one. There's something about that that's pretty like impactful. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. I, I do actually really adore this. Ugh, the lighting. I don't want it to be too bright. You need to be a bit mysterious. If a big cold bird tried to bring me baby. Kissing his neck and whisper softly. I don't want entry. That place is empty. Wow. wow, that's kind of sad. I don't know, it's so funny, I was just saying I want one, I said maybe that could be a child or someone to love. And she mentioned both, unconditional love and a baby. Is it, maybe it's about a baby. It's kind of sad actually, the way I feel it. If a big cold bird tried to bring me a baby, I feel I would get on his back, kissing his neck, breathing in and out. It sounds like, you know, I don't know, it's got a lot of feeling, there's so much tied into it. Again, I don't want to look into it too deeply because I actually do think it's quite personal. But I do think it's to do with wanting a baby but not being able to or something. I'm not sure though, but just think about it, it's very painful. Uh, but anyway, what has been written about the song is, in Heaven is Empty, how Aldous Harding expresses a lack of de de belief in the afterlife, doubting that there is anything after death. She revealed that it was written on the train, but there's nothing else really about it. But um, it feels sad, though. Well, yeah, she's using a cry tone, so it makes a lot of sense. But just all of it felt sad. It felt yearning and pained and a bit depressing, really. Uh, but I loved it. <laughs> I think that's also one of my favourites. Okay, um, last song now, but I don't know if it is the last song. Because on here on Genius it shows there's one another one called Golden Sprinter. So I might have a listen to that as well. Anyway, so let's do Pilot. I think like it's just shifting by a semitone and it gives it that like kind of na, 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 horror kind of feel to it. Dissonant sort of feeling. I don't know how to behave. Ooh. Reacting. Fist dangling. <laughs> I wish it was white. I wish it was white. But it needs blood for the new erection. You slide like a bangle down the days oh, on love that. Wait in the hand to be given away No, it's a gift, but Christmas is gone Wow I get so anxious, I need a tattoo Something binding that hides me Opens up like height under a pilot Ooh, height under a pilot I love the lyrics to this I love that, I really love that one Yeah, I really liked these like last few songs like a lot I don't know what it is, they're very raw and I really really like them Very cool Okay, let's do um, Golden Sprinter. It's not on Spotify. Okay, let's do it. Pretty. Covering the line. I wonder why I didn't make the album. With feathers, your best kept secret. So nice. I'll rattle the warmth of the guitar is lovely. I can see the old eyes. Sounds so raw. Open it moment. It's 
sounds like she might not have used a pop shield. Focus. Yeah, it sounds like she might not have used a pop shield, which is this. One of these, yeah. Um, that basically stops like sounds like p and k t and like breaths and like certain things from coming through because and and it also sounds like there's no compression on the vocal. It sounds like she recorded it and there it was raw. There um not nothing done to the vocal, and that gives it that really yeah like again raw effect. Very nice. Ooh. That was interesting. That's interesting little progression. Dun, 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 dun. Nature scared me. Called it play. Into play. Nature oh, terrifying me every time. Called it by its name. <laughs> So like abrupt. Hopeless, your best kept secret. Hopeless, I never knew your best kept secret. Lovely. Yeah, that's very nice. I can understand why that's a bonus track. I do wonder why it's not on Spotify. I guess it's for like CD, the CD or the records and so on. I do like it though. Um, the whole album, let, let's get into it. So, oh, I'm tired now. Oh, it is kind of a sleepy album, isn't it? There's something very dreamy about it. Yeah, there's something very dreamy about it. Like I said, it's got a lazy sound to it. Um, Funny one for a reaction because I could talk about the vocals a lot because she has a unique vocal. However, she doesn't stray too far from what she does vocally. She has like two sets. And uh, there was one moment in the song, where, obviously one of the songs where there's a cry tone that was very much introduced and that was interesting as well. I believe she actually could do a lot with her vocal, but it's not her style. And I'm glad it's not because the way it's done is very beautiful. Um, there were some songs that felt similar to each other, but that also added to it being cohesive. Therefore, you know, not necessarily a bad thing, like, at all. But I do believe for a reaction it was difficult because I can't react to something that's so similar each time. And then comes the lyrics. There's certain lyrics in the last few songs that I felt like I could clock on to more than some of the other songs nearer the start. Um, therefore, I felt a lot more into it then. I felt a lot more engaged when I could feel the lyrics a little bit more. I uh, didn't necessarily have to know what they meant, but I felt something from them. Um, when the lyrics are a little bit ambiguous, it can be difficult to know. What it, you know, it, it takes away something for me to talk about. Um, so there's that doesn't mean I don't like it, it's just hard to react to. Perfect album for doing anything, literally for doing anything. If you just want to drive or go to sleep or cook, whatever you want to do, it's a lovely album to put on anywhere because it's so relaxing and chill, it has a nice feeling to it. It doesn't quite, it's not intense enough to set a mood. Maybe in those last few songs, it's a little bit more melancholy maybe. But the, certainly the first half, you, I feel like you could listen to anywhere. And I, I really enjoyed that. Um, so on a whole, like, the album is genuinely good. But I, but it was hard to react to. It, yeah, really it was. Um, I can't wait to hear it in a setting where I'm not reacting and I can just listen on my own. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching because I really, really did enjoy it. Uh, I hope the commentary I did make was of some sort of interest to you though. And I did really enjoy reacting to it. Like I'm glad I did react to it. Um, I'm, I always like reacting to any music I hear, to be honest. So yeah, thank you. But I'd love to hear your interpretations, what they mean or what the songs mean to you. But anyway, uh, I will see you next time and bye.